Hey, I want to go over to some of the functions on the Matrice 30T um, controller, mostly. And this, this is not really about the Matrice 30, just on the controller. Uh, we'll start with first thing is the record screen, screen record function. Um, and then we'll continue on to the computer for the rest of this. I just wanted to show you live on the controller where this function's at. If you move down here, you'll see this one. It's scrolling across here, screen record. You press that and now it's recording your screen. Um, you have a, you can move this little timer anywhere you want. Um, you just hit that and press stop when it's ready to go. So other than that, uh, some of the hidden functions that the Matrice 30 can do is you're able to take screenshots uh, two different ways and those files are stored in two different places depending on which way you do it, whether that's with the thermal camera or with the screenshot menu in the same place that I just showed you where the screen record menu was. Right beside that is the screenshot menu. So depending on how you take the screenshots, it's going to store it in two different places. So I'm going to show you how to get to those places and I'm going to show you how to uh, transfer those images off of the controller several different ways. One is you can send the files Bluetooth to a mobile device. Um, Two is you can use your SD card, and three is uh, USB stick. Actually, four different ways. I guess you could just plug it straight into a computer. That's probably how most people would expect you to do it. But these other ways are if you need to do it in the field. And anyway, just going to show you a few things about this. Um, I have done a screen record on going through some of this stuff already. So I'm going to talk over this while I play this, and then I will edit it so that um, it makes more sense. Let's go. So this is your start screen. Scroll this down and you'll see, well, first thing you want to do is put an SD card in. Now, if you've never put the SD card in before, it's going to, this menu is going to pop up and you're going to have to select whether you want to use that SD card for extra phone storage or for portable storage. Portable storage is going to be something that you want because you want to be able to pull that SD card out and put it into a computer or into a uh, card reader that you could plug your phone into or however else you want to view those files. So pick portable storage. So now we're going to enter the camera view. We're going to scroll past our check flight. We are not flying. So uh, as you can see, we pull up the thermal view. Now this is where I was saying that you could take um, screenshots two separate ways. The, first way is right here, you click the screenshot button right there beside the record button. That took the screenshot, uh, draw a box around something. So now you're in the thermal view and this is going to show your max and your minimum inside of that circle or inside of that white square that you just drew. Um, if you look, you see that underneath that you see the X, you see the brackets and then you see, you can't really see it here because it's over the X, but there's a pair of scissors. So that is your screenshot for thermal view. Um, DJI apparently made a screenshot function within the thermal camera screen, uh, separate than the Android screenshot function that took the screenshot of everything else. So that just took the screenshot and that saved it in a different location than the Android screenshot with the up menu. So this is going to show you where your screenshots and your, it's called live view shots. That's the scissors in the thermal camera. Um, so you can select either one of those. Uh, again, this is more of the Android side of the house. Um, so that's gallery. If you have an Android phone, that gallery is going to look real sort of familiar. Um, and the screenshot, the live view shot is a little different. It's not a screenshot. It's just um, live view of that particular camera instance. Okay, so let's go over to the files um, app within the Android system. 
can open that up and you're going to notice at the top it says internal storage. Internal storage is where your pictures are saved. Internal storage on the controller. That's the Android side of it. We want to move them over to the... <laughs> it's, it's marked Android because that's just what it named that SD card when I put it in. Um, we want to move it to the SD card. So we have to go first find the pictures. Okay, so images, screenshots. So this is the screenshots that you get with the menu by swiping your finger down. Um, so I hit move to, and now I want to figure out where I want to move them. This still says internal storage. So the three bars on the left, you want to select that and go to Android and then hit move, or you can pick your, um, where you want it to go. You can pick a folder. Uh, it moved that. Go. Hey, I hope you got the gist of that. It was getting hard to sync up the voice on the last part of that video. The gist of it is select your photos in the files app. Click move to and then go find the SD card folder that you want to move it into and just press the move button. Pretty simple. I uh, hope that helps you. Thanks for watching.